After all we've done for you, you turn on us like this? Shut up, woman! Come on, I'm sure we can work something out. Don't even think about it. Look, I know that you are a woman who appreciates financial opportunity, okay? So I'll tell you what. We'll split our cash reserves 50-50. Ambrose! Serena, let me handle this. Would you stop fighting? The answer is no. All right. All right. We'll give you the whole lot. 500,000 cash. Are you crazy? Serena, Ambrose? would you please keep quiet? Now, Tina, all I'm asking, all I'm asking is that you let us go quietly, and I do mean quietly, and then you'll have all the cash, and we'll just slip away, and no one will be the wiser. Now, that's fair, isn't it? No way. But after you bought and sold all those innocent children, and what about all their mothers you tricked into giving up their babies? And, and what about those nice couples that spent their life savings trying to adopt? How dare you sit in judgment, you of all people? Oh, look here, lady. Now, I may have done some bad things in my time, but it is nothing in comparison to what you've done. And you can stop with that holier-than-thou act, because I know exactly what it is. Now, ladies, ladies, come on. All we have here is a misunderstanding. Now, we can settle this quietly. Oh, I understand her. She helped Gabrielle switch those babies, and now she thinks she's better than us? Well, all you care about is money. You're going to try and tell me that the Lord told you to kidnap Al, and that the Lord told you to blow up seven innocent people? Or what about shooting Matt, huh? Yeah, the police... When I bring you in, they are going to be so happy that they are going to pardon me for what I did wrong. And I am going to be home with my family. And nothing can stop me from doing that. This is all your fault, Ambrose. I it's told you enough. not to hire her, but no, your tongue dropped right to the floor. The moment you saw, you had to have her around. How was I supposed to know she was going to stab us in the back? Well, one look would have told you your eyes were bulging out of your head every time she walked by. Would you just stop it now? Just get moved. We're going to go to the police station uh, now. All right, all right, darling. Just... Just give me a moment, please. Now, Serena, you know, Tina may be right. Maybe our avarice and self-interest just corrupted our noble mission. Maybe if we take our punishment, we'll be better people for it. Tina, you have saved our souls. Lead us on. You need our new move. Come on. Let go, Tina, before Let you go, kill Let go, Serena, I've got it. Ah, <laughs> oh, Tina, it's so foolish. What are you going to do to me? Well, you haven't left us too many options, now, have you, darling? I can think of one. You've interfered with us once too often, Tina. And now you're going to get your just reward. Simon, mm. I mean to give it to her. Her okay. sweetness, just think a moment. Just think. We're going to have to be living in this cabin for a long time. Who cares, as long as she's not living, period. But you don't want to live in this cabin soiled with her blood? Yeah, listen to him. Shut up. Now, look, I know we have to get rid of her, but this isn't the way. Well, you have a better idea? Yes, I have a couple of ideas. Uh, I, ha I have an idea of my own. Why don't I just leave? And, um, I won't tell anyone, and you don't even have to give me any money. Oh, nice try, Tina. But I think my idea is a lot more practical. Now, Serena, we'll just keep her on board. We'll use her as our personal galley slave. And then once we get into our destination... No way, Ambrose. See, you're doing it again. You're letting her trick you with, with those big blue eyes of hers. No, no. No stalling. Either you get rid of her or I will. All right, my dove. You know I can't refuse you anything. Hold it, Tina! <laughs> just hold it right there. Better say your prayer. Your time has come. <laughs> well, that should be tight enough. Not for me. <laughs> I, I saw a bag of cement down in the cargo bin. So we can mix it with a little bit of water and let it harden around Tina's ankles, and it, it should be easy as making pie. No, Serena. You want to get rid of her, don't you? I mean, this way she'll sink to the bottom of Landview Harbor. No, no, you wouldn't do that. You're not that heartless. You wouldn't let her do that to me, would you? Of course I wouldn't. Ambrose. Cement is too messy. And it takes too long to harden.
Now, I think this old anchor will do the job just fine. No! <laughs> yes, you're absolutely right, darling. It's much easier and much neater. Yes, and then we can just throw Tina over the side and see if she can swim. You're making a terrible mistake here. Oh, you're the one that made the mistake when you betrayed us. And a fatal mistake, as it turns out. Look, if you don't do anything else, you'll just be wanted for attempted murder. If you kill me, the police are never going to stop till they find you. Yes, but they have to find a body first, don't they? And with you keeping a little vicious company, I don't think that's likely to happen. Uh -huh. Look, I, I know you're both really reasonable people. And, and just think about it. If you hold me for ransom, then my family will pay you ten times the amount of money you have just to get me back. They love me that much. Well, it's a tempting offer. But Serena and I prefer a bird in the hat, don't we, Serena? Yes. Especially this little bird. Please, I'm begging you. <laughs> now, don't beg. You should meet your maker with a modicum of dignity. I'm not ready to meet my maker, not yet. Well, we all have to meet our makers, and we can't choose the time. The maker chooses the time. Now, you just tie this to her feet, and I'll get the engine started. And then when we get out of the harbor, we'll give Tina her last right. Make sure it's nice and tight. We don't want poor Tina to come back and haunt us now, do we? <laughs> the only thing that she'll be haunting at the bottom of Landview Harbor. Please, just give me one more chance. You had your chance, dear heart, and you blew it. Go somewhere? Run! Ow! Where do I go? You never learned, did you, lady? Yeah, I wish I'd kill all of you. Now, that's fine with me, as long as you get your punishment in this one. That goes for you, too, Ambrose. We called the cops before we came over here. Ah, that must be them now. Court, I knew you'd come. As usual, Penny, you didn't make it real easy for us. Court, I can't believe everything happened just the way I wanted it to. Just take it easy. Go. No, I'm just too happy to do that, Court. I mean, I caused the wine and me, Tina Roberts. I did. I mean, I know I, I got help from both of you, and I couldn't have done it without you, but still, don't you see the point? Court, I am going to be a national hero. My name is going to be front page news all across the country, and the judge is going to be forced. Oh, honey, everything is going to be fine now. It is just going to be What are you doing here so early? I thought for sure you'd be sleeping in at the halfway house. Well, some things are worth getting up early for. Besides, I wanted to see how you were doing. I mean, we had quite a night last night, in case you forgot. No, no, I haven't forgotten. In fact, I got very little sleep last night, about two hours. But you, you, uh, look... Yes? Uh, very nice. Thank you. Hmm. You know, that was no party we were at. If Clint and I hadn't gotten there when we did... I know, I know, but actually everything turned out just the way I wanted to. It was perfect. Uh, I don't know that Max would agree with you about that. Look, I feel terrible about Max, what happened to him, but, but at least this way the Wyman's aren't going to be able to hurt anybody else. I hope you're right about that. What the hell's going on up here? Madam, I'm afraid it looks like we're uh, in danger. Oh, that's all right, Anne. They're here for me. Come on, come on in, everybody. Tina, give us a hand. What happened last night? Tina, what happened? Tina, what the hell is going on here? Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I want you to know I will answer every single one of your questions. But first, I want to make a statement about how I, Tina Lord Roberts, caught those terrible, nasty criminals, Ambrose and Serena Wyatt. 